if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you um, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested right class starts from 14th of february hello all welcome back to current affairs little series and guna madhivanan from offices ias academy in this video we are going to discuss about flamingos beautiful bird species you will not get confused with any other bird species flamingos look at the color right you will see from red to pink to crimson red look at the feathers it has a long leg it has a long neck it has a long leg long neck look at the strong beaks see it is so colorful but don't think uh, it will be colorful from the by birth only no so by birth it will be slightly white grayish color but because of the uh, food it is eating it it eats shrimps it eats certain crustaceans algae which has carotenoid pigment the carrot contains a pigment that pigment when it eats it gets that uh, pink reddish color okay see we have uh, six types of flamingos we have greater flamingos we have lesser flamingos we have american flamingo we have james flamingo we have chilly flamingo we have uh, antin flamingo of which the greater flamingos right so that will be very tall american flamingo which will be very pink in color lesser flamingo that is you know that is what is widely seen Uh, in terms of numbers, in terms of numbers, lesser flamingos are larger in numbers, right? So these flamingos they will live in groups, live in groups, maybe in pairs or in ten thousands they will live in groups, right? They if you look at their nest, they build a nest. The nest is made up of sand only, right? Like a small mud volcano, they will create a small nest in which uh, these flamingos. Like see, I have given the image here. This is how they build the nest. All right so flamingo has lot of other interesting characteristics so if it wants to fly just like that it cannot fly it has to run to a particular pace only then like flights it will run to a particular pace and then only it will fly see it is a filter feeder it is a filter feeder that means see if it wants to have something you know what it will do it will uh, turn its head upside down it will you know collect water i mean it is going to turn the head upside down it is going to Uh, like how it drinks the water it is going to collect the water while collecting the water it is going to collect some food items it will shake its head so all the water will come out only so all the water will come out only the food will be filtered that food is it is going to have it right so it is very it's a very interesting species flamingo so we have lot of characteristics upsc is focusing more on characteristics so let's Uh, discuss about those characteristics one by one quickly we should not leave anything so as i said it live in groups right from a few pairs to 10000s like it is pink in color it has long legs necks strongly hooked bills right the pink or reddish color that comes from the carotenoid pigments so it eats from the algae small crustaceans birds there are six species of flamingo which i have mentioned there are american flamingos there is a brightest of all lesser flamingo is the uh, is numerous one when compared to all around 1.5 to 2.5 million individuals we are able to estimate but but the interesting part is in in india greater flamingos are more lesser flamingos are rare but in general in world the lesser flamingo population is high okay so as i said to fly the flamingos need to run a few paces to gather speed flamingos they live in lagoons large shallow lakes it will build a mini mud volcano that that is its nest the flamingos are monogamous <coughs> that means they will have only one mating partner at least till a baby is born okay so both the uh, male flamingo father and mother flamingo they will build the nest they will incubate the egg so as i said the flamingos initially it will not be having the red color it will be white grayish color it will take several years to achieve that pink color uh, that particular uh, hook shaped bill all right and in interesting fact it, one thing is largely misunderstood see look at this image look at this image it is being misunderstood that this flamingo 
is actually hurting another flamingo it is largely misunderstood that the father flamingo is hurting the mother flamingo and from the mother flamingo the blood flows into the baby flamingo it is not like that it is not blood only it is the milk so flamingos the milk is called as crop milk the crop milk is produced in the digestive tract in the digestive tract the milk will be produced so what happens once the milk is produced the milk is taken out the milk is taken out it is taken to the mouth so from the mouth the milk is red in color so from the mouth the this is a drainage pattern so from the uh, parent flamingo the milk is taken out the milk comes out it is red in color so from the other parent flamingo's head it flows into the mouth of the baby flamingo so it is a kind of drainage pattern right it is a kind of feeding method so don't uh, misunderstand by looking at this image okay don't think it's a violent species so yes how it eats i said when it eats flamingo as i said it will turn its head upside down it is going to collect the water then it will filter and it is going to consume the crustaceans algae whatever it wants so if the climate is warmer it is going to stand in the water for a long time to keep itself cool and you won't believe it can it can sleep while standing in single leg right so these are something interesting uh, about a flamingo so typically found in the brackish waters typically found in the brackish waters so however it is also found in extremely salt bodies as well right so this is about flamingos flamingos and india in particular so out of the six species two are found in india that is greater flamingo and the lesser flamingo greater is the biggest size i am saying lesser flamingo is smallest right but in terms of number number in the world lesser flamingo is more in number in the world it is more in the case of india it is less okay so these two flamingos are largely found in the little ranaf kutch little ranaf kutch is a part of ranaf kutch where both the species you can see right so greater flamingos are common in india lesser flamingos are relatively lesser right so about lesser flamingos because lesser flamingos was in use for a very important reason okay let's know about lesser flamingos it is the smallest of all the flamingos so look at the color look at the beak right we see a deep red tip right tip will be black in color it is deep red the beak is deep in red it is smaller it inhabits in coastal and inland wetlands right so why lesser flamingo was in use after 6 years of absence lesser flamingos finally found their way to pulicat lake see usually uh, as i said during the month of uh, january december january the time period 60000 plus flamingos will come see to pulicat lake lot of migratory bird species from the uh, siberia comes to pulicat lake flamingos will be coming in such huge number 60000 numbers i mean of flamingos will be coming But however for 6 years these lesser flamingos were not coming to pulicat lake now it came to pulicat lake that's why it is very important and very significant so 60000 flamingos used to come this year we were able to see only 2000 flamingos what is the reason we are not able to clearly decipher it is said that maybe due to slight showers of the northeast monsoon since the rainfall was less shrimp population was less since the shrimp population was less since the food was less flamingos were not coming we do not know there can be other reasons also so it warrants a scientific study and it is also said that many agricultural families Uh, they have taken fishing and they started uh, uh, harvesting lot of shrimps so we do not know what is the exact reason for the absence of uh, flamingos come to pulicat lake but one good thing is now we got at least 2000 we got but it warrants a scientific study all right so one more additional information i would like to give here that is regarding um, annual flamingo festival which i have mentioned already in the first week of january in the pulicat lake Uh, we conduct a traditional event which is the annual flamingo festival see of course flamingo is the main attractive point but from siberia lot of birds comes to uh, pulicat so the scenic beauty so this is about uh, flamingo lesser flamingo greater flamingo flamingos in india i hope you got some clarity so see you in next video till then bye take care